Good morning, America, and welcome to Yonkers, New York. This is ABC7 Local News. It is Wednesday, June 23rd, 2015. I'm Katie Desmond, reporting live directly from the front line on this blisteringly hot morning. The president and Supreme Court of Honolulu have issued a mass deployment of military personnel in an effort to extinguish and annihilate the infected population within the Eastern Hemisphere. It is a combined coalition of the United States Marines, Army and Air Force, which are all present just south of the Sawmill River Parkway. I'm currently here with Army Specialist Todd Wainio, as he is just one of the 15,000 brave soldiers that will be standing their ground against the waves of the undead. Now, Mr. Wainio, what are your general thoughts while being here today? Are you feeling confident that the immense show of force and firepower will turn the tide of the war? I am cautiously optimistic. Well, that doesn't seem like a confident answer. Sir? on the rooftops. They can feel at home. You all have been equipped with an experimental device, codenamed Land Warrior. This is absolutely essential for communicating in between divisions and individuals. Command wants us out of here in 48 hours. more enthusiastic about war. Just get to your positions on the eastern roof line. I mean both you gentlemen up there shortly. My optics need some alignment. This land warrior shit is messing with my vision. Patriot missile systems. <laughs> For what exactly? <laughs> you think Zack has air support now? Try not to think about it too much. You mess with your overstated ego of yours. We need soldiers like you when the pits of hell break loose. <laughs> Likewise. Is this all a fucking joke to you? Patriot missile systems, electronic radar units, anti-tank ballistic systems. Really? Do you even have a single idea of what we're up against? I want you to tell me everything, or I am gonna blow your fucking skull open and use it as bait for these undead atrocities. Do you understand? Yes, Do yes, yes, hold you your fire! Understand! I understand. We're all broken. We're just a shell of what we once were. This isn't about my dead wife. The people need hope. They need order. They need a savior. Murphy, I don't think you want to fight two wars. Because once these so-called civilized people lose that hope, that's another war in itself. Okay, Shakespeare. That's enough metaphorical bullshit for today. If you're so insistent on these people's livelihoods, then you're going to be quite disappointed, Staff Sergeant. We got a straggler. You know, 
Why don't we just run over the horde with a dozen Abrams? Like, we sure as hell would save a lot of ammo. Their blood's coagulated. Thick as gelatin. It'd be a suicide mission for the tank crews. Zack could survive that. I mean, that had to rip a good chunk into him. I've got 
two mags left. There's too many. Damn it! Bush Burks.